So I don't know what happened to this thing. Um, but when I when I turn it on, so it'll boot up. <clears throat> but watch what happens. See, it doesn't come on. It's on, it's on a black screen. And I heard that um, when it first boots up, it may take a while, but this has never happened. I've been able to turn my device on, power back on, and it comes on, and as you see, and I'll wait 40 seconds, about 30 more seconds left to go now on my timer. Perfectly good condition. Received it not too long ago, but for some reason, that's happening. Fantastic product though. Really been enjoying this thing. Emulates well. But unfortunately, this is happening and I don't know what to do. So, I'm gonna just leave it here. Maybe it'll come back on, I don't know, but I'm gonna stop the video here and uh, send in my complaint to the Retroid people and see if they can give me a new copy or replace this or something. But yeah, so as you see, it's completely not booting up. It's on, but nothing's happening. All right, so this, this is for anybody that has a Retroid Pocket 2. Um, I don't usually post things like this on my channel because it doesn't really pertain to what I talk about. But I do have this handheld and I do enjoy it. And so if anybody ever comes across this issue, uh, this is the solution. So the issue that I was having is my my Retro Pocket 2, when I booted it up, it would show the logo, but it would just go to a black screen. It wouldn't start up like it would normally do. So <clears throat> what I had to do was get the um, the flash, the reflash file from Taki. And um, I'm not sure if they just let people into their Discord server uh, like that, but <clears throat> you can ask him to send you the file for it. Um, he gave me the file, and I was able to zip the files and uh, start to reflash my thing. Uh, so I'll leave uh, his channel in the description. And so, um, I'm sure he'll have no problem giving you guys that file, but I don't want to be the one to give it out because it's not my original file to do. So, <clears throat> what I had to do was, I had to um, basically follow the instructions on the file to reflash my system. And uh, it wiped everything on my system. Um, when I reflashed it, I did not keep the SD card inside <clears throat> and the reason I didn't keep it inside was because um if it were to wipe my SD card as well I know that would like delete the Android file on there so I'd be really screwed then so reflashed it everything booted up fine had to reinstall the Retroid Pocket app to get all the games and um it auto downloaded the Android back onto it when I switched over and everything started up as normal, but <clears throat> I lost all my apps, but I could just go back to the Google Play Store and download them and that was pretty much it. So um, I'll list in the description the step by step that I had to do as well as Taki's information. So if anybody runs across this issue with their Rotary Pocket uh, not starting up, this will definitely help out. Um, so. Initially, I put in a request to get a new unit sent out, but um, I'll be telling them uh, what happened, so I'll no longer be needing that. But yeah, uh, talk to you guys in the next one. All right, I'm back. So 
Let me adjust this. So the first time when I uh, turned this on, it started up under the Retroid app and I tried to switch it to Android and it didn't, well, it went to the logo and it just stayed there. But I didn't have the micro SD card inserted when I tried that. And so this time I put it in there, started it, and now Android seems to be starting up. So interesting thing to note is that the, it seems like the Android is downloaded onto the SD card and not the actual system itself. So it's looking a little wonky here. Mm. Now what in the world? Okay, there we go. Cause I'm like, that is definitely not what I'm used to seeing there. Okay, it seems like it's installing some stuff here. Okay, I'll come back when this is finished. Get back, so the thing just finished auto installing itself. So I'm hoping this thing pops back up, everything's normal. I'm gonna check and see if my files stayed on there. I highly doubt it. But the good news is the system's coming on. Thanks to the flash there. To do this one hand, let me get y'all a good pick. <clears throat> so, hundred percent deleted uh, my apps. As you see, there's no Retroid on here, but for those of you that know, you simply go to Toolbox, scroll down, install Retroid Pocket app. Probably need to be connected to the internet, so I'll do that. But everything seems to be back working fine, so I guess I'll end this video here. And, uh, I'm not sure if I'm able to release this information here. I'll have to check with Taki. Cause I'm pretty sure it's like the actual coding for this. So, and I know he knows them, so. But yeah, back in business, I was kind of scary there. Really wasn't looking forward to having to wait another 30 days to get a new unit sent out to me. So, see you guys.